Welcome back to another insightful video from Jim Dempsey Fundraising. Hi, I'm Jim Dempsey and today we're diving into an essential aspect of fundraising that often separates the successful from the exceptional. Mastering face-to-face year-end appeals. It's not just about asking, it's about challenging your donors to make a significant impact. I'll guide you through the top five strategies from securing the appointment to making the ask. Let's dive right in. As we head towards year end, I hope that you're incorporating all the strategies that I've talked about on this channel. We've talked about sending an important year-end compelling letter. We've talked about having the right phone call and the content of that phone call. Today, we're going to talk about getting an appointment with a donor and asking for that year-end gift. There are five strategies to mastering your year-end appointment. They are as follows. Strategy number one, securing the appointment. Securing a face-to-face meeting is your first crucial step. Personalize your approach when reaching out. Understand your donor's preferred mode of communication, whether it's email, phone, or even a handwritten letter. Respect their time, acknowledging their busy schedule and proposed meeting options well in advance. Express your gratitude for their consideration and enthusiasm for discussing the impactful work your organization is doing. Once you've agreed upon a meeting, confirm the details via email. Express gratitude for their time and reiterate the purpose of the meeting briefly. This sets a professional tone and shows your appreciation for their willingness to meet. Strategy number two, preparing for the meeting. Preparation is key. Research your donors thoroughly. Understand their past gifts, interests, and any connections they might have to your organization. Tailor your approach based on this information. Prepare a compelling story that resonates with their passions and aligns with your mission. Bring relevant materials to the meeting, such as the success stories, impact reports, and a clear breakdown of how their gift will be utilized. Visual aids can significantly enhance your presentation and make your cause more tangible. Strategy number three, setting the stage. When you meet with your donor or partner, set a positive atmosphere. Start with small talk. It helps build rapport and puts both parties at ease. Show your genuine interest in their life and experiences. Once you've established a connection, smoothly transition in discussing your cause. Share your passion for the cause. Be authentic and let your enthusiasm shine through. Explain the impact their gift has had in the past, emphasizing that their involvement is crucial for ongoing success. Use relatable anecdotes to humanize your cause, making it relatable and emotionally engaging. Strategy number four, the art of asking. The moment of asking requires finesse. Be confident, clear, and direct. State the purpose of the meeting explicitly. Explain why you believe their gift is vital and trying to align the passions and goals. Be specific with the amount you're requesting based on their past gifts to your organization's needs. Use open-ended questions to encourage them to express their thoughts and concerns. Listen actively. Their responses will guide your conversation. Address any objections emphatically and provide additional information if necessary. Remember, Silence can be a powerful tool. Allow them time to process and respond. Strategy number five, following up. After the meeting, send a personalized thank you email within 24 hours. 
Express gratitude for their time and reiterate your appreciation for their potential support. Include a brief summary of your conversation, highlighting the key points discussed. In your follow-up, maintain the connection. Share updates on your cause demonstrating the impact their support could have. Be responsive to any queries that they might have and be proactive in addressing concerns. The relationship you build doesn't end with the meeting. It's an ongoing journey. And there you have it. The top five strategies for mastering face-to-face year-end appeals. Remember, challenging your donors or partners respectfully and passionately can turn a casual supporter into a devoted advocate for your cause. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if there were things you especially liked or if there's topics you'd like me to address. And let this community of life changers know that you're part of making a difference in our world. If you wish to watch future videos on this channel, hit the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell to be notified immediately of the release of the next video. If you wish to follow me on X, go to at Jim W. Dempsey. On Instagram, also go to Jim W. Dempsey. Or if you have questions, go to fundraisingmasterminds.net forward slash Jim and Java. If you wish to follow a community of like-minded leaders, join our, our Life Changers group on Facebook. Stay tuned for more expert insights on fund fundraising right here on the Jim Dempsey Fundraising Channel. Until next time, keep inspiring change one conversation at a time. And as always, I wish you the best as you strive to become fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.